what's going on everyone welcome back to this youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install zamp on your macbook i'm also going to show you how you can create your first php hello world application and also as a bonus i'll also show you how to set up a database in php my admin so without wasting any more time let's get right into this video so head over to your favorite browser and search for download zap and the first link that you see here from apachefriends.org click here scroll down till you see zam for os x and from here you have some options you can choose any version i'm going to choose the first one click download and if the download starts that's good but if it doesn't click here after that the download should start as you can see the file is now being downloaded i'm just going to cancel it because i have already downloaded it so i'm just going to open it up and i'll be taken to this page now here double click and you will get this error now to fix this error go to system settings scroll down till you see privacy and security scroll down till you see a notification here if you don't see it click cancel here and you'll see this notification which says zamp osx was blocked for use because it's not from an identified developer click open anyway enter your password click open enter your password again close the settings now wait and you can see we get this message welcome to zamp and we have the zamp installer here now click next click next click next click next and the installation will begin so let's wait so after the installation is complete click on finish close the tab close this tab as well and you will be taken to this uh, zamp page so this is the software or you can go to launchpad and search for this zamp and here you have this manager os x so it's the same application now here you have three tabs we'll go to manage servers now you can see we have some options here we have the mysql database we have the pro ftpd server we have the apache web server so in order for us to stop or start a server what we can do is we can click on the server so right now this apache web server is running by default so i can stop it by clicking on stop and you can see it's saying stopping it has been stopped in order for me to start it again i can click on start and you can see once this turns green uh, the message is running so which means the apache web server is running so let's just uh, start the mysql database as well so this is the mysql server actually so let's start that as well you can see it's running as well now if i go back to chrome and i go to localhost you can see i'm taken to this page which is the default uh, page of xamp now let me show you how you can create your own php app so for that what we need to do is we need to go to finder go to applications and search for zamp here is the folder and within this folder you can see we have this htdocs folder go here and if you notice that when i went to the localhost slash dashboard i was taken to this page and you can see the folder structure here all the code for this page is stored within this dashboard now here we can create another folder let's say let's first give the password and uh, let's name this test and i'm going to open a terminal here and let me open the visual studio code so i'm going to open up this folder inside the visual studio code and within this we can create a file and name it index.php and here we can write our php code php echo subscribe to my channel close the php tags go back to our browser now instead of saying slash dashboard we can say slash test and you can see we get this text subscribe to my channel so now that php is telling you to subscribe to my channel you should go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video let me show you one final thing which is creating a database in php my admin we can simply say slash php my admin and you will be taken to the php my admin page here you can see this new option you can click here and give the database your name let's say test and click on create so it's telling me not create database test because it already exists let's name this the binary bits click on create you can see we now have a database named binary bits now you can add tables do lots of stuff here if you want a video about that i can definitely create a video about how you can use the php my admin but this was the basic gist of it how you can use it so yeah this is it i hope you learned something new from this video give this video a thumbs up i'll see you in the next one till then peace out